Welcome to today's video and this video is about the Star Trek co-pilot or um, in it uh, passenger information signs. Behind are three pictures. The one on the left is one of the old bus stops which still can be found in Leicester. There's two of them that I know of on Liberty Road in New Parks and when they took all the others down off the green post they left these two bus stops and basically it would have said bus um, 14 and it would have said arriving in three minutes and then it would have shown the bus underneath which could have been a I don't know a 12 or something and then it was shown that coming in about eight minutes um, on the other side, top left hand corner, is what the driver had in his cab or her cab. And basically, we did nothing to this whatsoever. It was operated off our ticket machine. So we would put the uh, route number in the ticket machine and basically it would work automatically if everything on the bus was working correctly. Um, it used uh, GPS, it also needed to know if the passenger doors were open and closed and it also took a reading of the speed as well so it knew if the bus was moving or not. Below is a Volvo Gemini and it has the downstairs display still fitted even though they no longer work. The Star Trek system in Leicester roughly worked from about 2004 to about 2009 and then it was shut down for a few years and then the new system came in uh, which is still using some of the old Greek posts but the signs have a lot more information on and they work with the ticket machines they have nothing to do with it there's no unit in the bus at all they just just work they work on the GPS of where the bus is Anyway, um, the display you're looking at is a Bright Tech display and it's from an old London bus that we had for a while in our garage and it was the passenger display sign inside and it's painted gold. Now on London buses they have roller displays on the front and front rear and side but the internal display for the co-pilot was LED so this is the reason why I have it. It took a few years for me to work out how to get it working and I haven't got a proper unit to work it correctly and of course I'm inside a house at the moment so um, it's not going to work as it should but anyway if you was driving down the road uh, this is roughly how it would work so first I'm going to program my ticket machine and I'm going to program it with 84A service to Weston and this should come on yep so route 84A Weston via Blaby now if you lived in Derby the displays would also talk like they did in London but in Leicester we didn't have speakers we just had the displays with no sound and as the bus reverses off the stand and closes its doors it would then show roughly where it was and then we'd start going down the road so St Margaret's bus station stand 13 and we'd continue down the road and this is what I'm going to do for a bit so uh, let's go for it Charles Street C1 Charles Street, C11. Rutland Street, R2. Welford Place, W3. Leicester Royal Infirmary Hospital, H3. Was stopping. Now 
Nelson Mandela Park, N3. Freeman's Park. Raw Dykes Road. Saffron Lane. Gas Museum. Bus Stopping. Boundary Road. Cavendish Road. Grace Road. Duncan Road. Hall Lane. Wixton Lane Bus Stopping Middleton Street Plantation Avenue Monsoul Drive Gilmorton Avenue Red House Road Dorothy Avenue Hillsborough Road County Arms Northfield Park Blaby Centre Bus Stopping James Street The Old Vicarage Victoria Road The Bull's Head Bus Stopping The Wheat Sheaf Avon Drive Bridge Way The Lime Tree Cambridge Road Dog and Gun Lane This is Route 84 to Leicester City Centre 
Well, anyway, that is the display working. The actual display I'm going to go over again is a um, bright tech display uh, removed from a London bus painted gold. Um, the ones in Leicester are all black. All the other ones I've got are all black. It must have been because it was an internal display. Um, it's from a outdated Init Copilot, which is no longer used in Leicester. And uh, that's about it really. So um, I'll say once again, thank you for watching. Um, there are these things available. The Init that I found is in America, but there's loads of them around and they look exactly the same in the UK as that one. It's an obsolete piece of equipment that's no longer used and um, reliable it wasn't. The new systems are a lot better uh, running on the Wayfarer or the ticketing machines that we have now and only occasionally the buses seem to disappear and also with the ticketer one you can also use it as an app on your phone you're not just relying on a bus stop at the side of the road that may or may not be working when you get there and at that I'm going to say thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video about the Copilot MDT bus information system or also known as INIT. Thank you for watching and goodbye.